Shamanism is a very, very ancient practice. It goes back to the dawn of time. And in fact, recent research and archaeological digs have discovered that the thought process that decided it may be about 40 to 50,000 years old, actually it predates that. So it's a very ancient practice, but it is all about being part of your environment, being at one with your environment, understanding and knowing that everything has a spirit, everything has a creative spark within it, and thus has the potential to be a teacher for you. And shamanism is about that sacred connection between spirit and ourselves and everything having a spirit. Core shamanism is a phrase coined by Dr. Michael Hana. He now runs the Foundation for Shamanic Studies in America and he's an anthropologist by profession. And back in the 60s he was working and living with a tribe of Amazonian Indians and was very much part of their day-to-day -day lives because we've got to understand that shamanism isn't just a practice that you pick up and put down, it's part of life. And many tribes around the world live their lives shamanically and have done for thousands of years. When he came back and was talking about his experiences, there was very much this, yeah, of course, that's what it's all about. Yes, we know of these things. And that, if you like, liberation of his spiritual ideas caused him to study deeper and on a more prolonged basis. A lot of the, the cultural and tribal ways of actually practicing shamanism are just not appropriate for Western society, Western environment. So what he did was he started to look at the very core techniques, the, the, the very essence of shamanic practice and found journeying, extraction work, soul retrieval, ceremony, ritual, many things that he could strip down to their, 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 their core, that core essence. And so, hence the phrase called shamanism. Every day we go through challenges, we, we go through problems, we live, we make mistakes, we, we go through relationships, we break up, we create new ones. And throughout all of those things, there is a potential, a possibility that we lose a part of ourselves in the process. Within shamanism, we look upon that as soul loss. Part of yourself has got lost. Part of yourself has got stuck into something and cannot find its way out. And so we move into the next challenge, the next part of our life journey, a little bit less whole. Shamanism is very much about looking to reintegrate those, those parts that have been lost to us, all those things, those gifts, those strengths, those characteristics that were us from the time we were born that have either got lost or we've forgotten them or we just don't use them. Ceremony and ritual are another important part of shamanic practice and to bring people back to even just admiring and walking in nature, that is ceremony in itself. To just say thank you is to give blessings. So it's also about just helping people remember who they are helping them reconnect with who they are, helping them become the very best they can be so that they can step forward as fully and as totally and as wholly as possible. It's very relevant. It's as relevant as it was, as it was then, as it is now. I run a monthly drumming circle where people come along to experience the magic of working with a living being, which is the drum, and allowing the drum perhaps to play them rather than them playing the drum through rhythms. I also uh, do drumming healing. On a one-to-one -one basis, I work with all sorts of people, all sorts of animals, and it's very much an individualistic thing. Shamanism is one of those wonderful things that is particularly suited to the individual because everybody's life is unique, so every shamanic experience is unique, every shamanic healing is unique. It's wonderful to bring shamanism to people who perhaps haven't got the funkiest idea what it's about and may come to me and be really skeptical, full of questions, 
but hopefully by the time they leave, having done a workshop or talked with me, chatted with me, whatever they wish, they understand a little bit more and it ignites that tiny flame within them that says, yeah, this, this could be something good.